Good morning, everyone. Um, in a world increasingly concerned with the questions of energy production and raw material shortages, um, we have a lot of questions about how we're going to produce products and goods in the future. Um, but actually, there are, my project is concerned with an area of the world where there's a lot of energy and a lot of material, which are the deserts of the world. Sunlight is arguably the most potent um, energy resource or natural energy resource we have. And sand is a fantastic material to produce, for example, glass. So, um, we, um, so, so my project is really concerned with kind of combining the, nat uh, the natural energy from above and the material from below, and by combining it with a technolo uh, technological kind of facilitator in between um, to produce products. But it also is there to really raise questions about how we will produce in the future, raise questions about the future of manufacturing, and um, trigger dreams about how we um, produce. So this is really um, how it all started. Um, me packing my suitcase in London while studying at the Royal College of Art, um, craving for some sunshine, and um, packing it with my first solar machine, which was a small um, solar cutter, kind of a bit like a laser cutter, but just very low-tech, very simple, um, producing sunshades from... Uh, so this is the machine. Producing sunshades by focusing sunlight um, through a, a small glass sphere, um, cutting plywood sheets um, in the uh, Egyptian desert. So while sitting in the desert, uh, I was thinking, well, I made a mistake, really. I, I'm bringing all this material to the desert, so meaning the plywood, um, but actually there's so much material here, um, so why am I bringing it? There's, there's energy, there's material, I just need to make this in between. I, I'm just, I, I'm missing something. So, well, these are the products, I just wanted to show them as well quickly, <laughs> um, that I made. And so, yeah, while sitting there, I was thinking that. And then from this idea, um, I really started to rethink, um, went back to London, thought about how, what would this machine be? And um, so 3D printing is really one thing that interested me for a long time. There's this huge movement of open source 3D printers. And um, we really, it's, it has got so much attention in recent years, and it just makes a great tool for people to dream about a subject because you can almost um, say it can almost make anything. So, so that's a kind of nice uh, notion of this, of this process, I guess. Um, so this was the first um, test of kind of saying, well, I've, I'm just using a big lens. I'm, I have sand. I'm just using a completely manually operated machine in the Moroccan desert to try and test whether I could fuse sand um, by just concentrating it by a large Fresnel lens and um, fusing layers on top of each other and seeing whether that could work, whether I could fuse just n not just one layer but actually multiple layers. So the results of that um, were very promising, which are these kind of very um, simple objects. They were just, um, so they have a kind of top surface which is um, glass and then on the side the sand sticks to it and it's very rough outside because it was just a manual operated kind of turntable machine. Um, so from there I started to work on the final solar center machine which is which was completely automated or almost completely automated uh, using electronics um, and like a 3D printer and kind of lo looking at the all the open source 3D printers as well. So after finishing this machine, um, I really wanted to put it to the test and went to the Egyptian desert in uh, Egypt near Siwa, which is close to the um, Libyan border, and uh, tried to um, do my first kind of tests of how, how could I produce um, these, these objects. So here it is, I guess, in this natural habitat um, for the first time, um, kind of trying to, 
to find the, the best kind of desert, I guess, I, I could find, because I, I really wanted to go to that place always, because that was where you can actually find natural um, glass, or um, so probably made from uh, meteor impacts. So that was a really uh, kind of the reason why, why I wanted to go to this region. And um, so what is the solar center, really? What, what, how does it work? So now I can kind of show you, so it really just, um, is a huge lens which focuses sunlight onto the sand. So the lens is always positioned um, to face the sun at all times and is um, controlled by an electronic sun tracking device that moves the lens in a vertical and horizontal um, axis as well as moving the whole machine around its base. Um, the, so the focal point is focused onto the sand um, onto the sand box, which moves in the X and Y axis on two aluminium frames, um, with a platform inside which moves up and down, um, or after or out down um, after each layer cycle is printed. Um, then there are two photovoltaic panels on the sides which provide electricity and um, to power a battery, which then again um, in turn drives the electronics and computer. Um, of course, the office is there as well, which is very important for the computer to be kept cool, um, to kind of hide from the sunlight. And now we see a shot of the extra grains of sand uh, melting. A close-up shot. So that's what happens when, uh, which is actually in real time. And you hear the sound of cracking. and the motors of the sun tracking as well. Um, and so the next shot will show you just, just how, the, how the layer cycle is, is moving. So it's kind of moving, doing one cycle, and then another layer of sand is uh, put on top, and the next cycle is printed. Just like a normal 3D printer, like a SLS uh, printer, just using the sun instead of a laser and sand instead of resins. So here I'm excavating the first solar sintered object, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so here are a few shots of this first object, which really was the first one to work. I was really happy about that. There were a lot of tests, obviously, before that. And it was just from this two-week uh, testing period in the Egyptian desert. And so you can really see the, the top surface is this uh, molten sand. I mean, you've, you've seen the close-up shot. It's really, it really cooks, almost. And, um, or it does actually cook. And then um, the layers are fused together in the middle, and the outside, um, you, you still have a really rough outside because it uh, sits in the sand. And you just take it out as it is, so I didn't finish anything of that, this is just how it is. Um, so I guess what, what is the future, what is the goal of all this, why, why am I doing this? And I think for me as a designer, one thing what's really important is the idea that I could do it as well. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something that, um, I mean, I, I don't have an education in science or, um, yeah, so, so I think that, that was like, that shows that the internet and that the knowledge is all around us, that we actually anyone could do these things. They could do work on new scenarios of production or work with science, art and design and kind of combine that and, and really um, make things happen. I think that's, that's one big thing that, that I think is fascinating, that, that anyone could do that, I think. And the second is really that we, um, I think that we are really, need to work on, on new scenarios for production. I think that's what design is also heading for. It's not only designing the product, not only designing the object, but actually designing the process scenarios with it as well, which is one really important aspect of design nowadays, I think, um, to look beyond just, or actually start much earlier than just the finished product, but start how, how, how can you make it? Where, where does it come from? Where does the material come from? Where does the energy come from? So. Um, that's kind of this, but also what, what could be the possible applications of this process? I think that's, that's another big question. So, of course, I'm dreaming. So, this whole project is about dreaming. This whole project is about making people dream about this potential of desert factoring. So, um, I dream about desert factories. I dream about community projects where new scenarios of uh, 
desert manufacturing could be applied directly or even just building up the solar workshops um, where you could do solar welding or solar smelting or all sorts of different processes could be developed um, within communities for direct application, for direct uh, prosaic needs. Um, but also, um, I think for me, the big dream as well is architecture, printing directly onto the desert floor with very large lenses, which could be possible today. Um, I truly hope this is nothing uh, but a point of departure. Thank you very much.